G'day everyone, it's Bo from GrowthWise. Today we're gonna to be going through how to do wage splitting in Zero. So this is a pretty common thing that we get asked if people have got multiple teams and they wanna try and get an idea on where the actual wage expenditure is going. So at the moment, I'm in the demo account. I'm just gonna guide you through the steps that you needed to do first before you can actually set up your, your pay items and everything to be able to do this properly. So the first thing that we wanna do is go into the chart of accounts. The reason for this is because we want to actually make sure that we've got wage and salaries accounts set up and superannuation accounts set up for the different different teams within our business. So I'm just going to type in wages. Um, we can see here, I've actually made these accounts earlier. The reason for that is just so anyone anyone doing this is aware, zero takes a good two to three minutes to actually recognize when you've made a chart of accounts change when you're doing pay items. So best to do this first so that by the time you get to the pay items section that these things become visible. So I've actually made a separate account for wages marketing and a separate account for wages service team. And if we look at superannuation as well, I've done the same thing. So I've got superannuation marketing and superannuation service team. So that's step one. We need to make sure that we've actually got chart of accounts that are available for us to select from. Now, the next thing is we need to then go into the pay items in zero. Well, not the pay items, sorry, the payroll settings. So if we click in the top left, go to settings, and then go to payroll settings. We can then see we've got this tab called pay items. So by default, Zero will generally have it set up very similar to what you can see here. So you've just got ordinary hours and it'll be mapped to wages and salaries. But what we're going to do is add a, another ordinary time earnings category. We're going to call it ordinary hours marketing. Rate type will be per unit, hours. We're not gonna set the rate per unit here because we're gonna actually use pay templates rather than um, actually set the, the rate in here. And then if we select the expense account now, you can see we can actually select wages dash marketing. Then select these if they're applicable. Going to do the same thing for our service team. Alright, so now we've actually added the two different uh, earnings categories in here. So we've got ordinary hours marketing and ordinary hours service team. Now with superannuation, you actually need to add those expense accounts on the pay template itself, which is also where we, where we need to make some of these other changes. So now that we've, we've added our pay items, we've got everything in the chart of accounts, the next thing that we need to do is actually go on to an employee's uh, pay template. So if we go to payroll and then employees, Pick on James LeBron for today. The first thing we want to do is click on employment. And then under this ordinary earnings rate, you want to update this to be the, the new rate that you've selected. Now, the reason for this is zero relies on this for actually being able to do annual leave properly. So if you have a mismatch between what you're using on the ordinary earnings rate here and the pay template itself, you'll have some weird issues with annual leave. So make sure that you select what you want here. I'm going to say marketing. We'll just save that. And now I'm going to go to the pay template. Now you can see at the moment the earnings rate set to ordinary hours. We're going to click on this and change it to be ordinary hours marketing and then click OK. Now for super as well, we're going to actually click on here, change the expense account to be superannuation marketing. Same for this one as well. This is because this demo actually has salary sacrifice. For most employees that you have in your own zero file, it's likely that you only have the one line here. Um, so just be aware of that and then click on save. So now at this point, because we've added that expense account for the wages and we've added that expense account for the superannuation, the next time we run payroll, it's going to actually split those wages into those appropriate chart of accounts. So we'll just see if we can do that in this demo file. Let's see if it works from here. We'll just go post payroll. So we've got LeBron here. Actually, we'll need to reset this so it brings in the new pay items. So you can see now it's actually come in as marketing. Going to go to save. The others I haven't had to change, so I'm just going to go to post pay run now. Go to yes. So now that we've posted that pay run, it should be available 
in the profit and loss because it's, it's been posted, all the journals and everything have been done. So if we go to accounting and then profit and loss now, we should actually be able to see now that we've got this split. So wages and marketing, that's coming from the split that we did for uh, LeBron James and the wages and salaries is everyone else where we haven't changed it yet. So that's all you really actually need to do is um, basically make sure you've got the chart of accounts set up properly. Make sure that you go and change your pay items um, in the zero settings and then make sure you update your employee templates as well. So that's all you need to do. It does take a little bit of time. If you've got multiple employees set up, it can take time to actually go through and do this for every single person. But if you do want to see the, the splitting of your wages down to that granular detail, this is one of the best ways of doing it. So make sure you subscribe to our channel for more tips. And if you've got any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Cheers.